Hi YouTube, in this video I'll show you a couple modifications I made to my fence long wire setup for software defined radio, SDR, shortwave listening. The first modification I'll show outside here is the ground that I added. That's this black piece of hookup wire. You can see the bowen inside which has ground antenna leads that I'll show later on. So anyway, that ground lead is a piece of 20, 20 gauge hookup wire, stranded, stranded copper wire. Yeah, I just got my sandal tangled on the ground. Anyway, so the hookup wire then extends down here to the pebbles. There is a gator clip connect that holds that strand. And at the other end of that jumper, another gator clip on this copper fitting on the ground rod. Now, what exactly am I using as a ground rod? Well, it's a piece of solid copper that's been bent. I probably should have it, you know, sticking straight into the pebbles, but I had all this excess and I, I didn't want to take that fitting off, so I just bent it and then took the end and put it into the pebbles. And I found a praying mantis. ADD time. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so the praying mantis agrees that for a good long wire setup, you need a good ground, both to protect from lightning and reduce noise. Right, do you agree with that? Okay. I guess you do. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so that's where the ground goes in. The rest of the antenna is the speaker wire on the fence that I've shown previously. And in a little bit, I'll head inside and we'll listen to some shortwave stations and see how incredibly great the reception is. I think it's similar to what I had just with the gator clip on the Texan, but you know, with the SDR on that attic antenna, I wasn't able to pick up um, Radio Nacional the Amazonia uh, all that well. Anyway, so I'll head to that in just a moment. All right, now let's take a look at the new Balan from the inside of the house. I showed you the ground wire and the fence long wire earlier. I'll lift up the window and we can see the, the that one down here. For the input antenna wire is one lead of the speaker wire which goes along the fence and then the black hookup wires and ground. This is a Newelec Balan 1.9 and has nice convenient spring tabs to put in each of those inputs so they don't you know fall out. Okay so that converts an impedance from converts, transforms impedance from 450 to 50 ohms. At the other end of the 50 ohm output is an SMA connector. I have an SMA, let me think about this for a moment, I think a uh, male-male coupler. This SMA cable that's trailing down and around to the RTLSDR.com V3 dongle that does everything from 0.5 megahertz all the way up to 1.8 gigahertz and the Chromebook which we'll use to do some shortwave listening. Okay, so that's the inside part of my new setup. Let's see what we can hear. I'll try out RHC, I think it's actually Radio Nacional de Amazonia from Brazil and some other stations. Okay, yeah, whatever's 
easiest to see. Yeah, so this is GQRX that I have loaded up that I showed in a previous video. There's one thing I didn't mention. For the settings in I.O. devices, when you choose, you know, which device is your um, RTL SDR, don't just put in RTL equals zero, put in RTL equals zero direct, direct underscore SAMP equals two. So you get the region from, I think it's, you know, 0.5 megahertz to um, 24 megahertz, I want to say. The proper device is a Realtek RTL 2838 UHI DIR. But anyway, so that's an important point. So you can, you know, do your medium wave and short wave listening. Anyway, so I have that set up. I have all the same, same as in my previous attic video. And I am getting something. So I can disconnect this or turn on the computer speakers. Yeah. Listen to how great that is. That's REC. REC, I think. I'll check on shortwave.info. Yeah, by far the best audio I've gotten on the SDRs with this um, grounded fence long wire balance setup. Something, yep, yeah, Bauta, Radio Habana, Cuba. Some Afro Cuban beats there. Let's see what's on 11780. Yeah, Radio Nacional da Amazonia. That's from Brazil. It's late afternoon right now. Well, late afternoon. Early evening. It's 7 p.m. You can hear the fading in and out. Let's see how we get 6180. So good, almost as good as the Texan. Oh, no. More REC. Okay, let's take a look at medium wave. An executive telling the athletic today, Major yeah, League WLW. Baseball is supplying some, and there are also... WLW real strong, and you can see a lot of other stations too in medium wave, and it's still daylight. Let's see what else is really big here. Um, hmm. 10.50. Let's try um, 
980. Yeah, so you can see the reception's excellent in this setup. I, I, it was good even before the grounding, just using the long wire, but I, I've been impressed with this with my SDR. The team, uh, Deshaun Jackson is on the team. I'm fine. I don't believe a guy's What's career that? has to be taken away for a first offense of See. this kind. And so if, he, if, he, if they show you... You know, if Deshaun Jackson does it again, it shows you that this was all just... Okay, back to shortwave. That, I'm pretty sure, is Radio Exterior de España, so radio from Spain. Also, amazing reception. I'll double check that here. But you can just see the variety of frequencies and stations that I can get quite well with this. I'm also in a, in a um, rural area, which, you know, helps with, with reception. Let's see. Yeah, 9690 um, REE in, oh wow, in, in Portuguese from uh, Noble Haas. Nobel Haas, Noble Haas, yeah. Yep. Portuguese. My God, that's good. Yeah, I wonder, I will have to compare the noise for here. It's about negative 80 dB compared with, you know, other shortwave listening setups. My cat wants to come in. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you enjoy this for a few more seconds. Just, just fantastic. Okay, W.R. Carmai, the Overcomer Ministry. Yeah, so just from that, you can see how amazing the reception is. I'll have to compare how the noise floor is compared with the attic antenna, but I'm really impressed. You know, I'm getting Brazil, Spain, Cuba, uh, France. I think I've, I've gone Germany here too with crystal clear reception, just with a piece of wire along the fence, this bowing and grounding that I guess is helping with noise. I hope this was helpful to you and you enjoyed some of this shortwave listening plus my description of the setup. If you have any suggestions, comments, or questions, leave them down in the comments section below. Please like and subscribe to my channel and thank you all for watching.